Alright, so I'm going to be doing a review on this Ecoro USB hub today. It's a USB 3, uh, so we're going to check to see if we get some good speeds out of it. I'm just going to run a test here on a regular drive um, without the, the hub first. Just some random files. Um, it's transferring at about 31, 33. 3 megabytes per second. Thirty twenty seven twenty eight. Looks like it'll keep going around that speed. Now it's doing a bunch of smaller files. And it's dipped down to twenty. Just gonna pause it so we can let this zoom ahead a little bit. Okay, so it's dipped down to about 10 megabytes a second. Uh, it's only got 88 files remaining, and I'm thinking they're bigger files, so the speed should go up a bit. Which has a little bit. I'm gonna stop it here and we're going to plug in the hub and see if that does a better job now. Alright, so here we're going to go for the second round. We have the Ecoro hub plugged in and the thumb drive ins as well. We're going to transfer. These are just a bunch of uh, Steam Apps files um, for ARC, a very large game. This is running at one megabyte per second. Oh, less than a megabyte per second. That's terrible. So for being a USB 3 hub, this is pretty terrible. Or oh, we're getting five megabytes a second. If it happens to go up to anywhere between 10 and 30, then that'd be good. We're at six right now, it's not too bad. Let's pause it and see if we get there. Alright, it looks like the best we got was about 7 megabytes per second. That's where we are right now, actually. Just a little bit over. Oh, now it's speeding up. Now we're at 8. Alright, let's do a little bit of time lapse again, see if we get higher. Okay, I just wanted to show that this actually is up to 12.5 megabytes per second um, and climbing steadily. Uh, looks like it's transferring over some larger files so that's kind of expected for it to be faster uh, but I'm, I'm impressed it has come up it's almost at 13 now um, I was skeptical at first because it started so low but it's starting to speed up now so 14 megabytes a second now um, for anyone wondering that's uh, it's around 100 megabits um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually plug this into the USB 2 port on my on my tower and see what kind of speeds we get from that, just as a comparison. Okay, so now the drive is in the USB 2 port. Um, the hub actually won't work in the 2. It tried to install the driver, but it actually wouldn't work. So right off the bat it started at 16, now it's at 12, and 7. So we'll give this a minute and see how this one goes. Alright, so here we are a little bit more into it. It was at 14 megabytes for, for just a little bit there. It looks like it's hovering around 10 now, so it's a little bit slower, but these kind of speed changes or differences are, are not what I would expect between a 2.0 and a 3.0. Uh, so it's pretty safe to say that um, either the drivers need to be updated on this tower or something else is going on, but because the hub was performing at least as well as directly into the tower, I'm going to say that the hub works really well for that. Uh, I'm going to try updating the drivers and see if that helps the speeds out. Um, but from what I can tell, the hub works as good as the tower, so I am impressed with that. 
Um, my main purpose for this isn't for the speed anyways though. Uh, this is mainly going to be just a, uh, a peripheral hub to plug in a gaming peripheral. So, so this will work as I need it to, but I will have it plugged into the 3.0 port for better speeds, um, just in case I want to plug in a thumb drive. But anyways, that's that's my take on, on the Ecoro USB 3.0 hub. Um, just for a size comparison, there's my hand. It's it's fairly good size. Um, it also has a port for the SD card and the mini SD card there. And it also has a jack for a 5 volt power supply. I guess if you want to charge things without having it plugged into a computer. But anyways, that's that's my take on this. I, I think this is a pretty good hub. And thanks for watching.